Hello, Justin Tremito here from dragonblogger.com, and I'm here testing out the Logitech G Pro X uh, gaming headset, which has the blue voice tech. So in G Hub, you can see what I have up on my screen. This is the blue voice um, profile option for when you select your Pro X headset. You can see I have a G10, a Brio, and a Pro X. I have a lot of Logitech products, actually. And on the microphone, you have a tremendous amount of test options. So I was going through a lot of these settings, and I'm going to see if, while I'm live recording, if I adjust these, if you can hear the changes in the recording. First of all, I'll disable the blue voice um, software adjustments. So this is how the mic is without any blue voice filtering or adjustments at all. What you could do is you also do a live mic test and record in real time right here. So this is a test. This is a mic test. This is a mic test with no blue voice um, technology software filtering enabled. So I did about 10 seconds. And then you could play back your voice and record test. in real time right here. So this is a test. This is a mic test. Okay, this is a mic that. test with no blue. Then you can enable it and see how it sounds. Voice um, technology software filtering enabled. So I did about 10 seconds and record in real time right here. So this is a test. Okay, so by default, you don't have advanced controls enabled. So you just see the voice EQ options and the presets. When you enable advanced controls, you can then look at the various preset filters and see what they actually change. And, you know, honestly, most people probably would, would be fine with just using either Broadcaster 1, and this is the way Broadcaster yes, 1 sounds. Test. Changes. This is a mic test, or Broadcaster 2, and this is what happens with the noise reduction increasing and the high-pass filter decreasing for um, Broadcaster 2. With no blue voice um, technology. See, obviously, that one doesn't sound as good. I'm getting a little too much cutting. So then you could try the various settings there. Broadcaster 1 sounded a little better without software filtering. filtering enabled. So I did about 10 seconds and record. But I still hear my voice being cut in and out as the filtering, the expander gate, is cutting out too much background noise to where it's actually taking out my voice. Because I do have some fans going. It's 90 degrees right now. So then I created my own custom preset so you can adjust your own levels. And then you can save it as a custom preset. So I've got the high pass filter, the noise reduction, somewhat a little lower. And you should... And hopefully this sounds better than the other two default ones. But you can hover over the question mark on each of these and see how much you want to adjust the limiter, the compressor. There's a lot of control on each of these that you can set. And even the EQ. You can even set the low, mid, and high frequencies and how much width it has to the band and when that applies. The level of control you have over your mic with the blue voice on this Logitech Pro X headset is actually pretty tremendous. The thing I find that is though is, depending on how much background noise there is, whether the kids talking behind me in the background, whether the fans are going, I have to kind of tweak the filters each time depending on the amount of background noise. Whereas one exact set of filters is not ideal for all different types of background noise. So you, that's why you might want to have a few different presets depending on how much background noise is around you in real time right here. So this is a test. This is a so far this one filters uh, right now. This filters pretty good for me. If I turn noise reduction too much, it sometimes takes out my own voice, or my own voice will come louder and then softer, and then louder and then softer. But play around with it. I'm showing you how it works. The Logitech G Pro X is absolutely fantastic when it comes to a microphone for headset. Obviously, if you have a USB, a studio mic, a dedicated mic like a Blue Yeti, you know, a Blue Yeti Blackout, it's on, or a Rode microphone, etc. Or even the HyperX Quadcast is fantastic. You're not going to get um, a headset mic that's going to be as great as a really dedicated USB studio mic. However, as far as gaming headset mics, the portability of being able to quickly take it to a console, back to a PC. If you're a road gamer and you take your laptop on the road, it is much easier to travel with a headset you can just pack up and take with you than have to lug a really big studio mic with you and, and take it with you on the go. So for portability's sake... Having a good gaming headset with a really high quality microphone will do. And so far, the Logitech G Pro X is living up to my expectations of what I wanted from microphone quality for a gaming headset. Thank you for watching.